There have been a lot of stories in the news about fracking, but many people don't hold the full facts on the issue. In a nutshell, a mixture of water, sand and a small amount of chemicals under pressure are used to dissolve ground rocks and extract the shale gas. As with anything, there are positives and negatives to consider. Fracking cuts Europe's reliance on Russia and the Middle East for fuel, so our energy needs are met closer to home. But at what cost? This proof fracking can increase the chances of earthquakes. Robust regulation means risks are now minimal. UK authorities review all applications before licensing and have a system in place for monitoring seismic activity. But pumping a cocktail of chemicals into the earth can't be good. Surely this will contaminate water supplies. This is unlikely, as the process is strictly policed and the chemicals are only used initially to open the well. Chemicals are in such low concentrations that the fracturing mixture is more than 99% sand and water. But I've heard they often use hydrochloric acid and other hazardous chemicals. Hydrochloric acid is found in toilet cleaners at concentrations 100 times higher than what's used in fracking. The chemical industry works closely with customers in selecting fracking chemicals. Even so, won't there be disruption to local communities? Yes, but the economic benefits to local communities far outweigh the initial disruption. Shale gas could potentially support 74,000 jobs a year, and producers have committed to providing communities with a portion of their revenues. Furthermore, this gas is cheaper than imported energy and will bring down the cost of other fossil fuels. As an added bonus, the extracted shale gas releases less carbon, so can help countries meet their climate change obligations. Shale gas may release less carbon, but infinite supplies of renewables is better for the environment. Maybe, but last year, electricity generated from renewable sources accounted for only 12% of generation, with gas at 28%. As coal-fired generation is retired and intermittent renewables come online, the role of gas in our energy mix will become even more vital. As you can see, there is a lot of debate about fracking that should continue. However, we believe that there are major positives for the UK, not least strengthening competitiveness and creating jobs at an important time for the European economy.